Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to show the process of threading a sewing machine needle. Now I've already created a video called Needle Threader 101 that shows different tips and different tools for threading a hand sewing needle. Threading a sewing machine needle is just slightly different because you have the apparatus and all the different parts of the machine to work around. So you can apply those techniques, but they might not work sometimes. Sometimes the needle and the eye of the needle are even thinner than a hand sewing needle. So we have a different tool to use to try it. And I'll show you my method next. So in the previous video on just the generic needle threader tool, Needle Threader 101, we discussed the hook and the loop ways to thread a hand needle. Now you can use these for your sewing machine if you could fit behind the sewing machine and if they fit the size of the eye of the needle that you have in your machine. But Dritz, the company, makes this tool, and I'm not affiliated with them in any means, but it's a little tool designed for machines, to thread the machines. And it takes into account the fact that there's apparatus to work around on a machine. So if you look here, you can see it's got this two parts, this white area, which I'll call the hook. And this is the area that helps you thread your needle on your machine. And then it's got this other side, which is designed if you need help putting your needle in your machine. We're not gonna discuss that part today. We're just gonna discuss this part here. Now, it's not a tool where anything clicks into place. There's nothing you have to turn on or off. There's a little arrow here to indicate the top of this tool. So when I'm using it, I want that arrow to ultimately be on the top when I'm using my needle threader. If you see this little white part here, and I'll put my hands behind it just for some contrast, this goes in and out just with the pressure of your hand. And when you use your needle threader tool, we'll use this stiletto as pretending it's the machine, the needle on the machine, you guide it right through the needle on the machine, just like this. When you get to the part on the machine when you wanna thread your needle, you'll push it all the way down. And as you can see here, when I push it in, this little needle essentially pops through. Now, all this purpose of this piece is to push your thread through the eye of your needle. This white area is designed to protect it as well as help you guide to the exact spot so that you can basically unleash the crack in and stick your thread through the eye of your needle using this little wire, really. It's kind of a thick wire. If I turn it to the side, you can see it's a little thicker. So this is very helpful. I find that having a stiletto tool, you can use a toothpick, a bamboo skewer, or even the pointy end of your scissors to help grab the thread. And I'll show you that when we actually thread the needle on our machine. So let's thread our needle on our machine. So the difference between threading your needle for a hand sewing needle versus threading your needle on a machine is just that the machine locks your needle in place there's a little more apparatus that you have to work around. Now to do this, you have to come from behind and use your needle threader, putting it through the little eye of the needle. And depending on the needle that you're using for sewing on the machine, the eyes tend to be very small. So you're not gonna have a standard needle threader. You're not gonna be able to fit that hook right in there easily. With the loop, you have a little more possibility, but yet again, depending on the size of the eye of the needle, it can be very challenging to get that in place. The standard way to thread your machine needle is to lower your feed dogs and then take your thread that you want to thread through your machine, thread it through your machine according to the proper channels for whatever brand machine you have. And then when it's time to put it through, you feed it through front through back. And then I can just feed it through using my eyes and then I have my needle threaded. It's not always that easy though, and as your eyes get older, it's very hard to see. So another method to use is to find a needle threader tool that's designed for sewing machines. And when they design it for sewing machines, they keep in mind all the apparatus you have to work around. So when I'm ready to thread my needle, I'll take my tool, I have that little hook that stands up on the needle, and ultimately, this will be at the top of my tool. But for now, I wanna put the thread through it. So I'm gonna turn it on its side, 
so that that little hook that will ultimately be up top is now on its side and I can just run the thread through the side of this tool. And now when I turn my tool to the side, I have my hook on the top the way I want it. I like to hold just the base of the thread just lightly so that I have just a little bit of tension. And then I bring my tool up right to my needle. Now I'm not going to try and push it through because there's a little, essentially a needle inside and I don't want it to hit the needle on the machine. I just want to place this here gently, as you can see I can easily remove it, and I'm just going to slide it down the length of the needle. When I get to the eye of the needle, I can start to feel it by gently pressing and it pushes it through the eye of that needle. There's a little loop here. I'm going to come in here with a stiletto tool and pull it to make it easier. And then with that same stiletto tool, I can open up that thread. So this tool is just a guide. It's not an automatic threader. We'll do it one more time. So I'm going to take that hook, turn it to its side, and grab my thread this way. And then I turn my tool the other way so that that hook is on top, bring it to the needle itself that's from the machine, slide it down until I get to the approximate area where the needle will go through the machine, and I push this in. And as you can see, the thread is being pushed by that little needle inside this tool. And then I gently remove it, and I can reach in here with my stiletto tool, and I have a threaded needle right on my machine. If you don't have a stiletto tool, you can use some sharp scissors, or you can even grab it with your hand. Now this tool works pretty well. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it helps me guide it to the proper position. If it doesn't work the first time, you can just re-thread it in your tool and give it another try. There are some tips about using this tool. Now a couple of things I have noticed about this tool that make it a little challenging. It might take multiple tries to thread the needle on your machine, and that's fine. It helps because sometimes it takes me a number of times to thread my machine with the tool or without it. So it is helpful. But I have to say that this little internal wire here, as you can see mine is not perfectly straight, is very fragile. When mine arrived, I ordered it online. When I first got it, it was completely bent. So I had to take a pair of flat nose pliers here and just very gently, not pull it, but just kind of coax it back into shape. I didn't want to bend it and have it break off. And then when I'm not using it, I make sure that I open it all the way up so that it will protect that little wire. But other than that, I think it's a fairly good tool, particularly in conjunction with a stiletto to help me thread this needle on my machine. So that's how I thread my sewing machine needle. It's a little different than threading a hand sewing needle because that needle is locked into place. Some sewers like to remove the needle, thread it, and then reinsert it into the machine. And of course, that's another method for threading a sewing machine needle. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.